New details about those October iPads and Apple's spy chip problems. Let's get right to the core of this week's Apple News and Rumors. With Apple's expected October announcement getting closer and closer with every passing week, we're getting more details about what those products will look like. And this week, it's all about those new iPad Pros, which have basically been confirmed at this point thanks to the code in iOS 12.1 beta that actually references an iPad 2018 fall in the code. That's according to 9to5Mac. Now we've talked about the two sizes we're expecting, an 11 and a 12.9 inch screen with that edge to edge display, no notch and face ID support. But one of the rumors that was still up in the air was whether or not it was gonna have that horizontal unlock. And now according to sources familiar with the matter, it is a go. Another new detail to come out of this report is that the USB-C port on this iPad would actually allow it to output 4K HDR video to external displays. And an older rumor talked about that new smart connector for accessories that this time would be above the charging port as seen in these on-link renders. And then there's a new Apple Pencil in the works which apparently will have that AirPod-like proximity pairing. Now back in iPhone XS news, it seems like all is good with the gates. Well, sort of. This week, Apple released an iOS 12.0.1 update, which includes the fix for ChargeGate, that charging issue that was causing phones not to charge immediately when they were connected to a lightning cable if the screen was off, among other issues which users were complaining about, like Wi-Fi connectivity. So good for them for taking care of these issues right away and not having users wait until the iOS 12.1 release but maybe next time, get it right the first time. The other issue that seems to have been resolved is the so-called beauty gate, where users were noticing an airbrushed effect on portraits coming from the front camera of the phone. And when I say resolved, I guess I really mean explain, because this wasn't a result of a software update, but more of a conclusion from multiple photography experts, including our own here at CNET, who came to the same conclusion that it's not a deliberate smoothing effect, but more of a result of the noise reduction and the HDR features on the new phone. Now, if you want proof that this is more of a subjective issue, I invite you to go check out Jonathan Morrison's YouTube page. Now, he conducted an interesting experiment where he told his followers that this selfie was taken on a Pixel phone. Now, a lot of his followers on Twitter and Instagram were raving about this photo, saying that the Pixel was the camera king. Some even went on to say that it looks so much better than the iPhone I fail. And then he revealed that it was actually taken on an iPhone XS. Now, I'm sure a lot of people weren't happy with what he did, but I think it's kind of genius. It goes to show you that this is really subjective. Now the other shout out goes to photographer filmmaker Ed Gregory from Photos and Colors who published an interesting comparison of the video of the 10S and a $10,000 professional camera. Now besides the fact that the video itself is pretty cool, what really got me was the blind test at the top where he invites users to pick out which one is which. Now it may be obvious to a lot of you from the get go, but to me it wasn't that easy, at least not until he pointed out the differences. But this week, Apple's been dealing with more serious issues. A Bloomberg Business Week report published last week suggested Chinese spies had implanted tiny surveillance chips into the data center equipment of dozens of high-profile companies, including Apple and Amazon, during the manufacturing process. Now, these chips are extremely hard to detect, according to the report, because they're smaller than a grain of salt, but they could extract all kinds of information from the devices they've been built into, and have been allegedly used to gather intellectual property and trade secrets from Apple and Amazon. And the report goes on to suggest that Apple became aware of the issue in 2015 and cut ties with the manufacturer Supermicro. Since the publication, both Apple and Amazon have flat out denied the allegations, stating that nothing of the sort was ever found. Apple even said to CNET that if they did, they would have been transparent about it and they would have worked with law enforcement to resolve it. And they've received some pretty high level support. The Department of Homeland Security and UK's National Cybersecurity Center have both backed up the denial, stating that at this time, we have no reason to doubt the statements from the companies named in the story. But meanwhile, Bloomberg is not backing down. 
You can check out all the details from the original report on Bloomberg or check out our continued coverage on CNET.com. That's it for our show, but I want to know what products you're most excited about to see in the October launch event. So hit me up on the comment section below or on Twitter. You know the drill and come back next week for more Apple Core.